Okay, we now look at uh, differentiation of uh, trigonometric functions. So given a function, let's say y, y is equals to sine x. So what is our dy dx? So our dy dx is simply equal to cos, cos x, okay? How about if you given y is equal to cos, cos x. So here our dy dx is simply equal to negative sine x, okay? What if you're given something like this, okay? Y is equal to sine u, okay? Where u is a function of x. So how do we get to find the derivative of sine u where u is a function of x? So we just say dy dx is equal to the derivative of the function u, okay? Then the whole thing, the derivative is just what? Is just cos, okay? Then we say cos u, cos u, okay? Let's say we have uh, y is equal to sine 4x, okay? So sine 4x, what would be our dy dx? So in this case, our dy dx, we are saying our u is this one, okay? So we first differentiate the u with respect to x. So 4x, its derivative is just what? 4, okay? Then the whole thing here, the derivative is just cos, cos, cos 4x. So this is what we get, okay? Now, on the other hand, we also have, if we have y equals cos, cos u, where u is a function of x. So how do we get to find dy dx, okay? So we differentiate with respect to x. So we're going to say this one, we differentiate the u first differentiating the u okay then the whole thing it's a uh, derivative is just negative sine u like that so we're just saying this is equal to negative u prime okay then sine sine u okay so let's have an example let's say we have y is equal to cos cos 5x squared, okay? So what is dy dx for this thing? dy dx. So the, the u function, okay, is just 5x squared. So when you find this derivative, we drop the 2, 2 times 5, we get 10. Then the power, subtract 1, we just remain with 1. So it's just x to the power 1, which you can just write as 10x. Then the the whole thing now, the derivative is just going to be negative sine, sine, okay, the same function, x squared, like that, okay. So writing this nicely, we say negative 10x, then sine 5, 5x um, squared. So this is what we have. All right.